Hi, I'm Alexandra Aguilar, and I am here to be proof that you're never too old to go back to school. Uh, so I currently am doing the old container speech, and it is actually, uh, this is an old container. It's actually a laptop bag that my brother gave to me. He finished college. Um, and when he found out I was going back to college, he figured I could use one. So it doesn't look old. It almost looks brand new, but it's got a couple of years on it. Uh, so the three most important things to me, uh, is definitely going to be, uh, one is going to be this iPad, uh, working in the medical field. I definitely use this all the time. Um, so you use it for everything, <laughs> for charting, for sending prescriptions, everything. And I actually use this for my homework too. This goes everywhere with me. And when I, when I'm not at work, um, I definitely take this because you can't always work everywhere. Uh, the second thing is going to be, um, again, hand sanitizer. I have these everywhere in my car, in my office, in next to my bed, on my makeup stand, everywhere. Um, you know, you should definitely use these even if you don't work in the medical field. Uh, when you're pumping gas, ATM, use it. Germs are everywhere, but definitely use your hand sanitizer. Uh, the third thing, which is my pride possession, well, it's part of my pride possessions. Um, I'm a huge animal advocate. I carry this with me everywhere because my dogs will go with me everywhere if they can. If they can't, you know, they're bummed and I'm bummed. But uh, yeah, so I definitely um, always have, I have some of these in my car. Um, I have so many of these, so I don't know. But uh, even when I travel, you know, I try to take them with me. Um, even when I see pets out <laughs> in the streets, sometimes I have old dog food in my trunk and I'll just put it on the sidewalk for them because I just feel bad. Uh, but yeah, you know, there's a lot of things that inspire me and um, helping whether it be animals or people is one. So hopefully, you know, this is a little insight into who I am and what I'm trying to achieve. I have so many goals that I still want to do and, you know, in whatever way I can help um, society, whether it be humans or animals, that's probably going to be uh, what I strive for. Uh, but hopefully, you know, I can learn a lot. Um, speeches make me nervous, but <laughs> nobody's actually listening to me talk right now, so I'm okay. But I'm sure when it gets when I have to speak in front, of, in front of real people, it'll get a little different. Thank you.